Replacement of the ureter by an isolated segment of small intestine may be indicated for recurrent renal stone disease or for correction of long segment strictures of the ureter. This is the radioisotope renography of one of our patients. It demonstrates an obstructed left kidney not responding to diuresis. Left PCN and antigrade pilography demonstrate a stricture of the left lumbar ureter. No dye could be traced down to the urinary bladder. Replacement of this ureter by an isolated segment of ileum was planned. For this operative procedure, a long paramedian transperitoneal exposure is necessary. The pathologic ureter is exposed by incision of the paracolic gutter and reflection of the descending colon. The whole ureter from the pelvi-ureteral junction was excised in view of extensive bilharzial pathology. The dilated pelvis is marked by stay sutures. The length from the renal pelvis down to the urinary bladder is measured by a tape. A segment of distal ileum of suitable length is then isolated. In order to have a straight segment, the primary and secondary vascular arcades are carefully ligated. The blood supply to the selected segment is based on one or two vessels with their tertiary arcades. The continuity of the small intestine is then re-established by a standard technique.
The isolated segment is now tailored to reduce its cross-sectional diameter. A long 22 Charrier plastic catheter is threaded into the isolated ilium, the pedicle of which is then controlled by a soft bulldog clamp. A series of Babcock's clamps are applied to mark the part of the wall to be excised. Excision of the excess intestine is carried out using electrocautery. To avoid disparity in size between the lumen of the renal pelvis and ilium, the proximal end of the isolated intestine is left untailored. The distal end is also kept untailored to utilize it in the construction of the reflux prevention valve. The cut edges of the ilium are approximated and adjusted by a series of stay sutures. Then, definitive closure of the tailored intestine is carried out using a single continuous layer of 3O Vicryl. The distal, untailored 5 cm of ilium are turned back to form a nipple cuff that will provide the anti-reflux mechanism. This position is maintained by 3 to 4 rows of metal staples.
further reinforcement is achieved by a series of interrupted sutures between the edge of the cuff and serosa of the ilium. A sufficiently wide opening is created in the mesocolon through which the proximal end of the ilium is passed to lie extra peritonally. The stent is passed up the renal pelvis. An end-to-end -end anastomosis between the ilium and renal pelvis is carried out using interrupted sutures of 4 vicral. Attention is now focused on the iliovesical anastomosis. The posterior wall of the bladder is exposed and held by a Babcock's clamp. The peritoneum overlying the posterior wall of the bladder near its dome is incised. Then, a buttonhole of the bladder muscle and mucous membrane is excised. A curved clamp is introduced through this hole so its tip projects through the anterior bladder wall. Another clamp is thus guided in a railroad fashion to grasp the ureteric stent and pull it through the ventral extraperitonal wall of the bladder.
the ileal nipple valve is guided and pushed through the opening in the posterior bladder wall to lie within the lumen of the urinary bladder. A series of interrupted sutures of forovicral are made between the bladder wall and the edge of the ileal nipple. Now, the iliovesical anastomosis has been completed. A short, straight, and tailored ileal replacement with an anti-reflux mechanism has been constructed. The anti-grade study demonstrates free passage of dye from the kidney down the tailored ileum to the urinary bladder. It can be observed that the tailored ileum has a lumen similar to a normal ureter and exhibits active peristalsis that results in a unidirectional flow of urine. Similarly, a diuretic renogram illustrates a positive response to intravenous Lasix. In this fashion, the ureter has been replaced by a segment of small intestine with optimized physiological and urodynamic properties.